Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the sum of the roots of the equation on the board. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by taking log of both sides of this equation. So we have log x squared minus 5x plus 5 to the power x squared plus 4 x minus 60 is equal to log 1. Now remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. The next step to solving this equation is to apply the power rule of logarithms to the left hand side. That is that rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. So when we apply this rule, this left-hand side becomes x squared plus 4x minus 60 times log x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to, now you know that log 1 is equal to 0. So the right hand side of this equation is going to be equal to zero. And of course, from here, we conclude that either x squared plus 4x minus 60 is equal to zero or log x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to zero. Because when we have the product of two items being equal to zero, it simply means that either one of them is equal to zero or both of them are equal to zero. Now we solve these two equations in turn. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 60 that add up to plus 4. And those are going to be 10 and minus 6 because 10 times minus 6 is going to give us minus 60 while 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. So here we have x plus 10 multiplied by x minus 6 is equal to 0. And of course from here once more we have that either x plus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 6 is equal to 0. Subtracting 10 from both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to minus 10. And adding 6 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to plus 6. So now we have two roots. We have minus 10 and plus 6. Now coming over to this equation, Remember, this is log to base 10 of x squared minus 5x plus 5. And this is equal to 0. Of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 10 to the power 0 is equal to this. That is x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to 10 to the power 0. And of course, 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So when we rearrange this equation, we have x squared minus 5x plus 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, we have that x squared minus 5x plus 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, is equal to zero. Once more, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of plus four that add up to minus five. And those are going to be minus four and minus one. Because minus four multiplied by minus one is equal to plus four. While minus four minus one is equal to minus five. So we have x minus four multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either x minus 4 is equal to 0 
or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, when we add 4 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 4. And when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 1. So we have two more values of x that satisfy the given equation. That is plus 4 and plus 1. Now there's one more case to consider. Let us remember that minus 1 to power n is equal to 1 if n is an even number. So what we are going to do is that we will find the values of x that is going to make this equation minus 1 and then check whether any of those two values will make this equation even. So this is what we are going to do. We have that x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to minus 1. And of course, rearranging this equation, we have x squared minus 5x plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Once more, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of 6 that add up to minus 5. And of course, those are going to be minus 2 and minus 3. Because minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us plus 6. While minus 2 added to minus 3 is going to give us minus 5. So from here we have x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. And this is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. Adding 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 2. And adding 3 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 3. So we have two values of x that are going to make this quadratic equation minus 1, 2, and 3. Now, what we are going to do is to substitute these values of x into this exponent and see if any of them is going to return an even number. Now, when x is equal to 2, this exponent is 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 60. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 60. 4 plus 8 is 12, minus 60. And 12 minus 60 is equal to minus 48. Now, when x is equal to 3, this exponent is 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 60. 3 squared is 9. 4 times 3 is 12, minus 60. 9 plus 12 is 21 minus 60. 21 minus 60 is equal to minus 39. Now you can see that when x is equal to 2, this exponent is an even number. And when x is equal to 3, this exponent is an odd number. And of course, we know that minus 1 to the power minus 48 is equal to 1. So the final root of this equation is x equal to 2. Now when we add all these five roots together, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So we have that the sum of the roots of this equation is 3. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. It greatly helps out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.